Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com with the answer to another viewer question. It comes in from Mr. Adam Turner Music, who says, Hi Mike, MRC regular client here. Do you have a tutorial on how a voiceover might be able to affect another channel in the mix? For example, voiceover being able to automatically duck the music. Well, one word for you, side chaining. Let me show you how it works in Adobe Audition CS6. I've got a music bed here. I'll go into my multi-track and drag it into track one and give it a play for you. So there it is. Now this could be the music from a promo or perhaps the theme music to your podcast. And clearly you want to duck it down so that the words you say are intelligible over the music. Let me record into track two and give you an example. Hello, this is Mike Russell and welcome to this week's podcast where we're going to talk about all things audio. Now I'm sure you could hear as I was recording that I was struggling to compete against the music. So let's take a listen now back to this track and the voiceover together with no ducking in place. Hello, this is Mike Russell and welcome to this week's podcast. Again, you can hardly hear the voice over the music. So let's go into my effects rack. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some dynamics processing to track one. That's my music bed. And there's a great preset to use here, which is soft limit minus 24 dB. It looks like that. And it's a preset in Audition CS6. But you'll need to go into the settings and turn down the output gain. I'd put it at about plus 2 or 3 dB. Uh, plus 16, as you can see there, is going to be way too much. And you'll find after the compression, your music bed will distort like crazy. So once you've made those changes, you now need to go into this icon here with two arrows on. It takes you to your sends. Now, this is a bit of a ninja tip. You need to go into track two, where your voiceover is, side chain, create, and you'll notice the dynamics processing from track one, slot one, appears. Click it. And that means that your track one will be influenced by what's on track two. In other words, when the voice kicks in on track two, track one will automatically duck to compensate for the voiceover. Now, let's have a listen to it so far. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and welcome to this week's podcast, where we're going to talk about all things audio. It sounds great. You can already hear the ducking in action there. I'm going to do one more thing. Effects rack on track two. I'm going to add my processing there to really make the voice pop out. And if you'd like to see my processing in full, you can go back to a previous video and see that on my channel. Let's take the studio reverb off because that will be overkill and listen to this in action. Hello, this is Mike Russell and welcome to this week's podcast where we're going to talk about all things audio. Beautiful and much better than you could ever do by manually controlling a fader. Just to show you the effects of this voice ducking the music, I'm going to bounce to new track, track one, which is my music bed. And you'll see there quite clearly that the bed is being ducked when I'm talking. It raises there when I take a pause for a breath and then goes down and then it's back up again. If you'd like to receive an email every time I release an audio production tutorial, just click the link on your screen now. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.